All right, top 10 survivors that only played one time that should have an opportunity to play again, in my opinion. Now, I got a list here. I did a little bit of research, but most of these I already knew uh, because I've always wanted to see them play again. So tell me what you think, who you want to see play again after my list, and then uh, maybe we'll talk about that in person individually. Okay, number 10, I have Holly Huffman. Now, the reason I like Holly is because I always say you quit. People quit physically, and they quit mentally. Holly, at one point in the game, she quit mentally. She wanted to check out. She quit. Well, she was convinced to stay, and not only did she stay, she started playing the game. So that's a very difficult thing to do is quit up here, but then change it up here and decide to start playing and play and get all the way to the end of the game like she did. So number 10, Holly Huffman. Number nine, I have uh, this. I like to put duos every once in a while, but this duo makes a little bit of sense. Number nine that should give an opportunity to play again is Scott and Jason from Kageon, right? I mean, they were villains, but everybody loves to hate a villain. You got to see them again. Why can't we see them again? I can't believe we ain't seen them yet. But I liked uh, the way. The only thing is with Scott and um, and Jason, what they did, they they were more a vindictive type villain. You know, it really didn't make sense. They were they went after this one girl and just hounded on her, and uh, that's that's a mean spirited villain. Uh, when I was a villain, I was more of a villain. Uh, you know, strategically, so. That might be why they haven't played again. Uh, CBS, you know, and Survivor might not like that type of villain. But that's my number nine. Number eight, RC. How come we haven't seen RC from the Philippines yet? She's the one that had it out with Abby. They both, you know, had it out with each other. She's only played once. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly shocked that RC only played once. It doesn't make that much sense, but yes, RC, she needs to come back. Number seven. This is a little surprising to me. Uh, number seven is Ronnie. Ronnie. How come we, you know, he's, Ronnie's pretty popular too. You know, he was in one world and he was, he's popular. Uh, what people might know him from is him getting all upset and uh, depressed and that he, he missed his, bir his birthday while he was out there and Somebody didn't take him on a challenge, and he, and you know, he get he gets hurt, and but that's good TV. So bring Ronnie back. Bring Ronnie back. We'd like to see Ronnie play again. Number six, Stephanie Valencia from Redemption Island. Now I'm doing another list. I'm not gonna uh, spoil it right now, but I'm doing another list, and she makes it pretty high on that one too. Because Stephanie, I know about Stephanie because I played with her. I would like to see her play in a season where it really wasn't fair. She was put with me, you know, all of a sudden she's out there with me and targets on her back immediately because of me. I'd like to see her go out there and play again on her own uh, without uh, circumstances like she had to deal with because I think she would do pretty well. I'd like to see Stephanie back. Uh, she most recently, they almost had her back. They had that little, uh, the, the vote for the fans to vote in she was on that list but she didn't make that one as well but i guarantee you she was close though close to coming back number five boo bernice super boo from fiji remember him always getting hurt now a lot of people don't know this about boo is i did a little research on boo and 17 challenges he won with him and his team combined there's only one other uh, person that came close and that's big tom but Big Tom sat out of two challenges. So Boo has a record for most challenges won individually and with the team. And, uh, you know, I think that deserves an opportunity to come back and play. Uh, I know Boo. I think he would play completely different if he played again. Uh, I wish they would give him another opportunity so we can see uh, what he really has. A lot of these people, if they come back and play, you know, for a second time, they would make great TV. And uh, I think Boo's one of them that we didn't really get to see what he had. Number four, Jim Rice. I don't know if you remember Jim Rice. He was from the South Pacific. But Jim Rice was extremely strategic. He went in there to play the game. 
and I like that. A lot, uh, a lot of you, I don't know if you remember Jim, but he was really playing hard, fast, and I liked the way he was playing. I thought that they were going to ask him back the next few seasons for sure, and what happens is if they don't ask him back right off the bat, what happens is time goes by, and when time goes by, then they they forget about that that they forget about that person or or uh, somebody else comes around that's that has that same style personality that they play anyway. But I'd like to see Jim back. You know, I'm sure a lot of you guys would like to see him back. Uh, I haven't heard much about him lately. So he makes the number four, and my my top three here, one, two, and three are iconic. They all three did iconic things that you will remember. If you're a Survivor fan at all, you remember these three. So in my top three, I have number three, Jason from Mic Micronesia. Jason's the one with the stick. He's the one when Eliza says it's an effing stick, Jason. And uh, he, he actually thought it was an idol that Ozzy made. So uh, I, liked, I like to see Jason back. I know right when that season ended, a lot of people wanted to see him back. So uh, let's bring Jason back. Bring him back. Let's see how he can do for the second time. Number two. This is probably the most shocking on the list that this person hasn't played again. And that's Natalie Bolton. It is super shocking to me. Now, in Heroes vs. Villains, a little bit of side note here that's a little interesting. Natalie was there. She was in Ponderosa. So, Heroes vs. Villains, she was there about to play. She was uh, waiting for, if something happened to somebody, if uh, somebody didn't want to play, somebody quits right off the bat, or whatever the case may be, Natalie was there to take their, uh, their spot. So she came really close to playing in the biggest, in my opinion, a lot of people's opinion, one of the best seasons uh, in production, but one of the best, biggest seasons that's ever been aired on Survivor, Natalie almost had a shot to play in that season. Now, how come we haven't seen her since then? If you're going to pick her for a great cast like that, you ain't going to pick her for any other season after that? It, it really doesn't make sense to me. Maybe, uh, maybe somebody, she's, you know, on somebody's list, you know, their bad list. Got to be careful what you say. You know, you say one word, bam, you're unmonetized. Right there, I'm probably unmonetized. Anyway, I'm learning. So, number one. Number one is going to be shocking for a lot of people, but I like the guy, and I would love to see him play again. Iconic move was when he told, uh, what's her name, that he told Jeff that they mouthed the words, I love you, Billy Garcia. How come Billy Garcia hasn't been back? Come on, man. Come on, Jeff. Let's see Billy Garcia back. Everybody wants to see Billy back. I would love to see Billy back. Come back. He'll fall in love again. Get married on the show. You never know. We can do this. He'll fall in love with somebody else. You know, who was that girl? Candace. Candace? Yes. He was in love with Candace. They mouthed the words to each other. I love you. Told Jeff. Jeff was like, that's the most shocking thing I've ever heard. But I want to see him back. Billy Garcia... You number one on my list. Come back. That's all I got to say. So check this out, guys. Subscribe. Comment below if you want me to talk about a top five or top th uh, ten subject. As you can see, I try to respond to every single comment. I knew s some of them might get lost in the madness, but I, I try to re uh, respond to everybody. Uh, subscribe to my channel. We're growing and growing fast. I'm going to keep doing this. It's fun. I like it. Beautiful scenery behind me. Well, I'm not on the island either. It looks like I'm on the island. All right, guys. Check this out. Subscribe. Smash that like button. Keep hope alive.